One of the most glorious parts of the Peak District, full of beauty in every direction. Join us on a short drive to Edale via Mam Tour. We begin our journey heading eastwards on the A623 main road between Dove Holes and Peak Forest. Just behind us, the A6 has continued its route from Manchester to Buxton. The A623 will continue on through the Peak District to Baslow, but that's a journey for another day. Just ahead of us is the small hamlet of Sparrow Pit, where we're going to leave the A623. The area here forms an interesting boundary, with surface water from this side of the hill flowing westwards towards the Irish Sea, whilst over the hill it will flow eastwards towards the North Sea. So here at Sparrow Pit we'll peel off the main road and take the small B road towards Castleton. However this would have originally been the main road between Buxton and Sheffield and the road would have carried on down the face of Mamtor. However that road had to be closed due to landslides and we'll talk more about that later. You can now see the dramatic majesty of the hills here. Rushup Edge is the long line on the horizon to our left, with the rounded top of Mamtor in the distance. Ahead, just to the right of the road, you can see the quarried hillside of Bradwell Moor. This provides stone for the Hope Cement Works, perhaps the most notable man-made landmark in the Hope Valley.
we're close now to the top of Winnett's Pass, where the road drops down to Castleton. Originally, this road would have continued down the face of Mount Tor as the main road between Sheffield and Buxton. However, frequent landslips caused damage to the road, until eventually the local authority had to give up trying to keep it open. Since 1979, Winnett's Pass has served as a through route, albeit with a 7.5 ton weight limit. The Winnett's Pass road is on the right just here, but meanwhile just ahead is that old road, now severed by the landslip. We're going to turn momentarily back westwards in the direction we've just come from to pick up the road to Edale. Rushup Edge is now on our right, but just ahead we'll find a right turn that will take us up and over the ridgeline to Edale. Heading up this lane to Mamtor, we'll soon catch a better view of this dramatic hill. Nicknamed the Shivering Mountain because of those regular landslides, the rocks here were around 320 million years old. Standing 517 metres or 1,696 feet high, it forms a boundary between the sandstone rock of the Dark Peak to the north and the limestone of the White Peak to the south. Now crossing over Rushup Edge, we can see the glorious Vale of Edale and the dramatic dark peak of Kinder Scout across the valley. Kinder Scout was the location of a mass trespass of 1932, where people protested for the right to roam freely over this beautiful landscape. Ahead we can see the western end of the valley. The railway between Sheffield and Manchester runs through Edale and overcomes this natural barrier through the Cowburn Tunnel, taking the line through to Chinley on the other side. The tunnel has a length of 3,385 metres, which makes it one of Britain's longest rail tunnels. However, at a depth of 267 metres, that's 875 feet, it is without doubt the deepest railway tunnel in the country.
We're dropping down now to Barber Booth, a small village just west of Edale. This bridge takes us over the River No, just formed here in the slopes of this valley. The river continues down the valley until it will join the River Derwent near Bamford. Now Edale is very popular as a starting point for walking in the area, particularly to go up onto Kinder Scout. The Pennine Way long distance footpath begins here, heading up Jacob's Ladder onto Kinder Scout and then northwards for 268 miles to Kirk Yetholm in Northumberland. It was Britain's first long distance national trail created in 1965. The walk includes some difficult terrain in places and it usually takes between 16 to 19 days to complete. As we get to Edale itself, we pass the Walker's car park on the left. There are some fine pubs in this charming village too, so it's well worth a visit even if you don't plan to tackle Kinder Scout. From here, this winding road continues down the Vale of Edale, with no road connections until it reaches the village of Hope, in the centre of the Hope Valley. You can follow this route in our next film, from Edale to Hope and then onwards into Castleton. We hope you've enjoyed this scenic drive through part of the beautiful Peak District. Please consider subscribing to the channel to see more films like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more adventures.